56 rebounds per game. Jaworski is covering Tan, hits his hands, and that is the second personal foul, foul called against the Big J. Well, right now we have a substitution Rama. for the uh, shirt makers. Django Arce coming in for uh, Dodi Ramas, and that should provide a little more height to the team. Together with Banate, they can really be a force, you know. Uh, I'm referring to Arce and Banate. Arce was hot during the first quarter. He, my, he made six points, had another basket during the second quarter. So far, he's got eight points as credit. It's a three and three, the road runner. And finally, a uh, good assist pass by Jaworski is converted. You know? Eight points for Francis, made six points in the first half of play. We are in the third quarter with Toyota by 10, maybe 62-52. Here is Mon Fernandez. The best in the land. Oh, what a shot. Fake to the left, turned around, fired from the right. And he just proved you right with that move of his. And Ramon Fernandez now having uh, 15 points in the ball game. Prior to this game, he's been averaging five. Well, a violent okay. Banate as he tried to, to drive through the baseline. He was caught stepping on the end line. So Toyota will go again to the offensive. Mon Fernandez on the elegant shot. We're still here in the third quarter here. He has 17 points. And if he should be given enough playing time, I feel that Ramon Fernandez will again surpass himself as far as his average output is concerned. You recall he fired 38 points, tied it together with Danny Florencio. One only call against the shirt makers. Banate. Oh, what a wow. tremendous move. That's the second time he did that today. And that was over Abe King, one of the best defensive men we had. Because he, you know, when he was guarding the imports, Abe King was able to control them like Norman Black. But uh, Banate just really hit that shot well. And Abe King wow. wanted to do a magic, trying to get the basket back. He gets fouled on the... Before he could really take off. And Cordero could not control it after that inbound coming from the Big J. Butterflies and Ed Cordero still has to mature and get that level of confidence back. He's trying a little bit too hard. It's really tough, you know, to uh, come up with a super self among the best. There, Ramon Fernandez came out to help, got a good block, wow. but a uh, body no and seems so too no for Bert. Black, huh? Actually, Bert was already open when he went up before he. In the land, watch this. Bang. Slow motion to you by San Miguel Deer. But you can see Ramon has really matured a lot, Pingoya. Before, you should, surely he will complain about such a call. But uh, lately, he, thinks he feels that he's been fouled or he didn't commit a foul. Just playing like a mature. That's right. As a matter of fact, uh, there were some misinterpretations last year because he was not like a tiger. And... Uh, some of the followers, even the players were saying it's probably because that Mon is the president of the Association of the Professional Players. That's also too, like there, he, again he committed the foul, wow. readily acknowledged it, he'd like to set an example for his uh, fellow men, that uh, you know, you have to take these things, you know, sometimes you get good calls, bad calls against you. And right now Ramon is being lifted by uh, Ricky Relosa, who, as we mentioned, scored all of his 11 points in the uh, second quarter, a lot of power drives by uh, Ricky Relosa. As Mon Fernandez goes to the bench because of four personal fouls, he has 12 rebounds to his credit and 17 points. There we have a good shot foul and drive by uh, Django Arce, a foul by uh, Ed Cordero, a chance for a three-point play. The lead is down to only eight points right now. Second personal call against Ed Cordero, bringing Toyota to their 15 foul, two only called against Manhattan. And we have Arce, 11 points to his credit. Jaworski, uh, we have Alex Tan, uh, Ching Lo, performance, and after five games, Arce has gotten into the listing, six points, with three rebounds per game. And finally, Ed Cordero, after four attempts, gets his first bucket, you know, and uh, Arnie Twandes was just standing up there cheering him on, you know. He certainly got moral support from the fans of Toyota because they clapped loudest for him, and Arce looking for space, towering, short, and not big play. Well, that prevented a fast break for Toyota, and Toyota is in the lead right now by seven points from a high of 14 points, Pingoy. Second personal foul called against Arce, bringing Manhattan Shirtmakers to their 13th foul, as opposed to Toyota's five. The Big J looking for a receiver. He finds a nice shooting from 22, and Jaworski 
Not only did he get two points, he got an offensive rebound, and Sonny Jaworski proving to all in Sunday that he still got it. You know. The big J. Tan inside to Arce. He's like a one-man wrecking crew right now for Manhattan. Arce has hit the last seven points for his team. That's right. He's got eight rebounds, three defensive and five offensive. Total of 15 points, made eight in the first half of play. Valencia also seventh rebound. Doing the impossible. Arna is trying to jam Marce. It is 70-63, Toyota by seven. And Valencia does it. Well, the Manhattan shirt makers are really giving it all right now. They're just down by five, and uh, they, you know, they have more control of the ball game than uh, Toyota. And with uh, Ramon Fernandez sitting on the bench with four fouls, it could be a difficult ball game for Toyota. Well, it's a hungry team, and they're inspired. Their victory against uh, Eco last time out. They know that they can play. They know that they can win. That's right, Pingo. You know, and they know that uh, they're improving as uh, time goes along, and they're really blending very well. You know. Banate is playing with three personal fouls, two against Valencia and also Arce. Oh, that could have been a big basket, but somehow the magic didn't work. Here's a three and two break. The big J suspending himself. The famous uh, patented one hand drive by Sonny Jaworski. That's right, and Jaworski now has eight points, made four points in the first quarter, another two hits in this third period. Pull down also six rebounds, playing with two personal fouls. Tan from the right side. The loss are jumping a little bit too soon. 72-65, 4 and 12 to go. Third quarter, Toyota on top. Good bank shot coming from Alex Tan. Six points to his credit. Alex Tan, one of the steady gunners from Manhattan, averaging 14 points per game. And Abbe King, over the shoulder foul as Valencia went up. And Abbe King, first personal foul. Substitution. We have brought this back in action, pulling out Cordero. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. Absolutely right. And somehow you can feel here the power of the presence of the Big J as early as this 5.30 game coming your way delayed. at the 14th, the Toyota Ball Club. Yes, relatively light game for Toyota if you come and think about it. But we have about close to 8 to between eight and 10,000 people here watching them, their team play and you know to see the uh, first game of Sonny Jaworski here in 1983. And so far he's not really been failing his, uh, his fans. He's been playing pretty well. He has good control of his own game. Well, he excites crowds and people buy tickets just to see the presence of Sonny J. But right now they're really in trouble because Manhattan is really moving very well. They've cut down the lead to only three points, 72 to 69. So Toyota really must get back to work. That last hit of Valencia given 12 points inside to Abe King. Quick turnaround. Good basket. Well, Abe King has eight points in this quarter alone. He has a total of 14. By the way, uh, Abe King has a new... Uh, I'd like to extend my congratulations to him and Ligaya for their new daughter. No? Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Abe King. Hope mother and daughter are doing fine. The loss pulls down the rebound. It's a three and two break. Good bounce pass to our nice with a foul. Oh. Slow more, slow more. Who acknowledges it? Let's take a look again at that uh, bounce pass of Sonny Jaworski to one of his favorite receivers, none other than his uh, buddy buddy, Francis Arnaiz. Abel goes back in action, and Alex Tan is being relieved by Enching Rodriguez because of four personal fouls, and Alex contributed six points, pulled down four rebounds. A slam for Arnaiz. Incidentally, Turo Valenzona and his gin makers fight for outright qualification to the round of four in this all-Filipino conference on Thursday, April 7th, when they clash with the idol Crispa Redmanizers. Don't miss that all-important match, which we will bring to you live at 7.30 p.m. to be followed by the encounter between Great Taste and the artistas of Gallery Dominic at 9.30 p.m. That's true. We have a loose ball foul there called against Arce, and so right now we have a timeout called by uh, Coach Edo Campo. We'll be back right after this. And so far, speaking of the Big J, he has made eight points and six rebounds, two personal fouls. We have two and 40 to go. 77-69 Toyota. Traveling violation called against Arnie Quadless there. Arnett Twandless, somehow he gets the peak of his form in the middle of the year. It's already the middle of the uh, eliminations. We're almost at the end of the elimination, so he really must pick up. If their team should qualify in the semifinals, his firepower is very much needed. 
Absolutely right. He can't afford to keep on making the play of tumpik tumpik. That's true. <laughs> I like that term. Got it from my wife. And here comes a back pass from uh, our nice Twadless. Only four point of uh, Arnie Twadless, but pulled down five rebounds. Valencia in and out, and Abe King comes down now with his 12th rebound. Our nice in a zigzag move. Gets fouled as he went up. Could be called against wow. Ortiz. And that brings uh, both teams to their 16th foul, and Ortiz already guilty of his second personal. Francis are nice. During the past five games, averaging 19.4 points per game, had uh, 1.2 rebounds and four assists per game. It's good for uh, 13 points right now. Francis are nice, and they have a 12-point lead again. A 12-point lead for the Silver Corona. Panate playing with three personal fouls. Abelgas likewise. Valencia has two. Ortiz has two. Loose ball. Picked up by Abbe King. Quickly to the Big J, and we have a 4 and one break. Bounce pass to Quadless, and he sees Jaworski there, so he really did not care very much. Yes, it was a 4 and one situation, and Toyota came up with a 11 to nothing blast. And right now they have a 14 point lead. What a spurt, 11 to nothing blast during this past two minutes and Ortiz looking for a receiver, he's trapped. Ramos on a fake drive going to Valencia. 14 points, made six points in the first half of play and eight big points in this third quarter alone. Again, this is the fourth time that uh, they have led by 12 points, 83-71. The big J from Rainbow Territory, a little bit weak, a little bit to the right. Good drive coming from Ortiz, fourth point. All coming in the third quarter. And Twadless gets trapped, loses control. Two against three, and somehow Ortiz hoping for a miracle. Well, he was trying to fish for a foul, but uh, Abe King defended pretty well, and Francis Arnaiz gets the two points on the fast break. Only 22 seconds left in the third quarter. And I'm sure Ortiz was saying, how come Arnaiz can do it and I can't? Well, Francis has been playing basketball longer than he has. <laughs> it's 85-73. For the end time, Toyota back again by 12. It's nine seconds to go. Belgas is open. Diffic Good hit. Yes, yeah, difficult to have a fadeaway shot. Dorsky looks at the clock. Ping going up. It should have been counted. So at the end of the horn, at the end of the third, we find 85, 75. Toyota by 10. Well, uh, we'll be right wait, uh, we have statistics on the screen. You can see Toyota increasing its lead from two to eight points at halftime. And right now it stands at 10. The uh, players on the court for Manhattan Distrito. Woodrow Malin, Ramas, Banate, and Arce. For Toyota, Francis Arnaiz, Emer Legaspi, Ramon Fernandez, Abe King, and Ricky Relosa. Foul, Arnaiz. Arnaiz, guilty of the foul. That is his second personnel, so we find Abelgas going to the line. As we enter the fourth and last quarter, we find Toyota by 10 points, 85-75. And during the past three quarters, Toyota never got into team foul trouble. They had 16 fouls per quarter. And uh, Manhattan Shirtmakers, on the other hand, they were in team foul trouble during the first and second quarter. They had 16 fouls in the third. The split of his charities by Alan Abelgas. We have a nine-point lead for Toyota. Abelgas scoring his ninth point, pulling down three rebounds during this encounter. And we have the 16th point of Abi King. Manate. Ramos already had it, but Legaspi caught him at the back, and Arce looking for the basket, getting it. Arce is playing very well for his team. You can see that he knew Ramon Fernandez was coming out to help, so he faked off instead of going for the shot, which would have been a block by Ramon. Tremendous confidence, and we have a different Arce already with 17 points and pulling down eight rebounds for his team. Legaspi penetrates using the right. Six points for Emer Legaspi. Very quick reflexes on the part of Emmer. He knew most of the players were sagging down, helping out against Ramon, took advantage of it. Oh, good fake there by uh, Noli Banate, throwing Abe King completely off. Ten points for Banate, and has pulled down also seven rebounds, six defensive, and one offense. But he's playing with three personal fouls, he's safe. 
And as Velosa turned the quick hands of Ramos, he took it away from him. Front pass to Arce, but Mon Fernandez is checking him now. He's low posting out of Belgas. He does be covering very quickly. Inside bounce pass intended for Arce, but three seconds score against Distrito. We have a turnover. Well, you can see the leading scores there. Francis are nice and Abe King. Francis with nine, Abe King with eight, Valencia with eight points. Velosa gets bumped, Steve goes for the basket, nothing there. Arnaiz and Legaspi playing safety very quickly. Quick turn from the street a little bit offline. Juan Fernandez now going up against Banate, the elegant move. Foul called against Banate. Drawing his fourth personal foul. Two free throws for Ramon Fernandez. You know, Pingo, if you notice, what's really killing the uh, Manhattan shirt makers is that they can get a lot of contributions from two guys who usually score very well. That's Distrito and Alex Tan. That's we've right. We've not been performing that well tonight. Distrito only having four points, while Alex has six points only. Blau is back in action, and uh, prior to this game, Distrito was uh, Average. averaging 13.6 per game, pulling down 4.6 rebounds while Alex Tan was averaging 14 points. So between them, that should have been an average of about 27 and a half points. Together, they've only scored 10 points today in the ball game so far. And yet, on the other hand, the compensating factor there perhaps could be because of Arce, who has been going for the basket. And uh, at the same time, Valencia is doing fine. He's made 14 points, while Arce is good ready for 17 points. We have a loose ball foul again called against Rudy Distrito and Toyota still up by 10 points, 9 minutes and 45 seconds left in the ball game. Oh, what a move by uh, Abe King. What a spike move and Abe King suspending himself in midair and getting the basket with a slight twist. 18 points for Abe King, 12 in the second half so far. For the sixth time, this is the Toyota Silver Coronas, 92-80, and 25 to go. Ready the basket to Ramos, getting his eighth point, made six during the first half. Arce is keeping an eye on Mon Fernandez, is high posting, quick backdoor play to Arnaiz. Well, Francis moved well without the ball. Rudy Distrito had to fight the screen that was set by Ramon Fernandez. He was just a little bit too late. 17 points for the road runner. Blount trying to hound uh, Ramos. Here's Distrito going on a bounce to Arce, Arce was covered by and it is Distrito on an offensive foul that is now his second personal. He's a matchup, Andy. Well, Fernandez and Arce practically even. Ramon Fernandez not doing a lot of scoring here in the uh, third and fourth quarter, but having 12 rebounds. One hand pass from Fernandez and a one hand uh, shot coming from we have a substitution, Enchi Rodriguez resting the street in favor of Alex Tan. Alex Tan should go for the basket a little bit more. He can fire from the outside, quite effective from 17 to 15 feet. That should also help his teammate if he can hit outside shots because then that will open the lane for Arce and Banati who likes to get their shots from under the basket. 19 points for Abi King. He has already 13 rebounds. Quick screen for Alex Tan. Banate. Third try, nailing it down this time. So you can credit three rebounds for uh, Banate in that play alone. And we have it on record. He's pulled down nine rebounds, 12 points to his credit. We have eight and 18 to go, fourth and last quarter. Abi King is open. Ninety-five, eighty-four. It is Toyota. So far, they've been controlling and leading all quarters. Banate in a turn. Abe King pulling down his 14th rebound. Our nice fouled on the act of shooting. It is counted and somehow the holding you could see trickling in. That's true. A chance for Francis for a three point play. Let's take a look at that on our slow motion. Francis are nice faking right, moving to the left, getting that blocking foul on Abelgas, getting the continuation. <laughs> And as we watch uh, the road runner, Francis and I go for a slam, may we tell you that a fabulous show will soon be the talk of the town. It's Live Le Fantasy, featuring the hot gossip group. Exciting numbers, fabulous costumes, and superb choreography. And something else for the male crowd. 
Vive Le Fantasy, starting tomorrow, April 6th, at the Salahis Hotel for luncheon and evening presentation. Another vintage production sponsored by Seven Star Cigarettes. This game has gone into seven deadlocks, 26 all over the last time. A bigger lead by Toyota, 14 points, 98-84. Fernandez playing with four personal fouls. Banate also has got four. Arce, good fake on Mon Fernandez. Doesn't get the basket, but draws a foul. That's the fifth personal foul for Mon Fernandez. And Arce is continuously shows that he has a good poise, you know, going up against Ramon Fernandez. The foul goes against Bulang for his first oh. personal, Andy, and that brings Toyota to the second team foul. Five called against Manhattan. No surprise because you could see that Ramon really banged against him, no? but the foul was called on Bulaong. Uh, a foul made previous to the foul of Ramon. That's the time when Mon Fernandez collides Fernandez. against Banate for the fifth uh, personal on Mon. And very quickly, uh, Coach Edu Campo calls Ricky Rolosa to action to uh, replace Ramon Fernandez. And Mon Fernandez contributed 18 points at 13 points during the first half and has pulled down a total of 13. Arce pulls up, air ball, goes to Alex Tan, but the gasp is there, and Valencia in a quick turn. Good basket! While Distrito and Alex Tan have been quiet, uh, hits coming from Arce and Valencia. We have some stats in the third quarter, Andy. Very close game in the third quarter. Good flying shot. Um, 15 feet, left flank, Abe King. Abe has been shooting well, 21 points. Legaspi, oh, guilty of that personal. That's his first. Toyota now with 14 fouls, five against Manhattan Shirtmakers. On the matchup here are Nices and Abelgas. Relosa keeping an eye on Arce, while Abe King staying glued to Banate's low posting. Bulao is trying to cover Valencia. And Bolang pulls it down. Good timing. That's his fourth defensive rebound. He keeps on going. He finds himself open a little bit too strong on the spin. Well, he wanted to do a one-man show there, but unfortunately for him, there was no success. And we have a last touch called against Ricky Rilosa. Alex Tan was trying to bounce it towards uh, Arce, but Rilosa stuck his left leg out. 187, Toyota by 13. Make it 11. Well, the uh, su Silver Coronas are playing very tough defense right now. And really, those shots of the uh, Manhattan shirt makers are very difficult. Bulaong there with an outside shot. So with only about six minutes left in the ballgame, Pingo, I feel that if the Manhattan shirt makers want to try to win this ballgame, they must do a lot of uh, gambling, you know. They must uh, sacrifice defense uh, and try to get their fast game going and take some outside shots, maybe even some three-pointers. Because if not, Toyota is just content to answer their uh, two, po two points for wow. every basket. Well, they've got to move a little bit better and have the flow of the game and uh, be a little bit more diligent. When they see the opportunities, they must take it. And uh, they've got very good back backcourt men. You've got Abelgas here who can really, uh, you know, he's trying to take the role of the playmaker mm -hmm. and uh, point guard. Alex Tan, surprisingly, has only made eight points. And Alex, uh, during the past five games, Five games has uh, been averaging 14 points. Maybe he should go for the basket a little bit more. Yes, definitely so. We have a 12 point lead for Toyota, 102 to 90. Time left is 5 and 47. Arnais gets a pick, gets the basket. 22 points, and uh, prior to tonight's game, Arnais has been averaging 19.4 points per game. Here's Arsen, no posting. Oh, good timing, good check by Relosa, but it goes for the second time using a left hook. Yes, and left-handed hook shot. So Arce is the top scorer for their team with 20 points and uh, 10 rebounds in the ball game so far. We have 5 and 18 to go. Manhattan shirt makers certainly not buckling down. They're still nibbling very much in the thick of the fight. Relosa looking for a cutter, can't find any. Bad pass, but... Fortunately, Ligasti was there going up. And there is a leaning foul, foul. called against Arce, bringing that to his fifth personal foul. At the same time, Manhattan now 16 fouls. Five team fouls called against Toyota. We have five minutes to go. Ligasti, the off guard, looking now for his uh, eighth point.
score. Yeah. Malawang on Valencia. King covering Banate. Good hit from the outside. 18 feet from Alex Tan. Well, Alex should continue to take those kind of shots because you can see that Allegaspi and Francis are nice. They're a little bit smaller than uh, Alex, so he can really shoot over them. And at the same time, they're really sagging down. So he has the opportunity as long as he hit those, hit those outside shots. Good luck by Alex Tan. He was able to get away from Banate, but Alex Tan timed it well. Here comes Arce. Good screen also coming from Alex Tan. And a good safety man there in Alana Belgas is still completed by him. Manatan is only down just by 10 points. They came down from 14 with 4 and 15 to go. It's 106-96 Toyota. Arce protecting that shot. Somehow he was able to put it up, but no basket. King getting now his 15th rebound. Good steal. Here comes the Belgas being fronted by the Roadrunner. Good boxing out by Bulaong on Valencia. That pass by the Losa. It was intended for a knife, but a Belgas ever so quick. Well, the ball game still uh, wide open with three minutes and 45 seconds left in the ball game, and the uh, Manhattan shirt makers wow. really trying to put on a spurt at this uh, stage, you know. And there's concern from the Toyota bench. Edo Campo dispatching the Big J and Mon Fernandez. The Gaspi and Bulang rested, while on the other hand, Enching Rodriguez fields in Dodi Ramas for Ramas. Arce. Well, Arce has five personal fouls, so he wants Arce to be at the end of the ball game just in case, you know. Boy Valencia getting the basket after the Big J trying to break up play. Ronaldo pass for Alex Tan. Good break, and here comes Mon Fernandez. He finds the Big J. In and out, almost had it. Could have been a great move. Great pass, too. Three and two break. It's down to six. You better believe it, Manhattan shirt makers very much alive with 3 and 15 to go. They're just down by 6. Well, they got a lot of points on fast breaks, four consecutive points. And that's what they should keep on doing. And Francis are nice there with a 3 nice. points. 3 points. 3 points. But somehow, this could break the backs of the shirt makers. All the buttons are popping out. Yes. Now it's back to 9 points with 3 minutes left in the ball game. Still a long time and uh, they still have a great chance at the ball game. The Big J gets it away from Alex Tan. You don't do that. And the Big J keeps on going. Good first. A little bit too strong. And still, Mon Fernandez and the Big J couldn't help each other. Back pass. And here comes the Big J in a fake drive to Mon Fernandez. Oh, the crowd is alive. A showtime there, huh? Beautiful. Francis are nice. Uh, Sonny Jaworski and Ramon Fernandez. Yeah. Like a good old day. Yes. What a homecoming for the rookie, <laughs> the Big J. He smiles at himself and says, I missed that one. I must be getting old. It is now Toyota by wow. 11. King. We have a foul called against Abbe King. That is his second personal. And we find for the first time in this fourth quarter, Toyota in team foul trouble. 16 fouls called against Manhattan, who has been clawing and nibbling, trying to get right back in action. Valencia, oh, what a big hit. Double pump, actually, and cuts down the lead to nine with only about two minutes left in the ball game. Two minutes and four seconds, actually. Valencia playing a valiant and shining Last game. 23 two points. Minutes. Last two minutes. The roadrunner from Rainbow oh. Territory. Two nine, hits from that three side. Points. And three points, yeah, three points. This one was about 25, 26 feet, you know. Give him 28 points. The shirt makers giving everything they've got. And our nice just broke them up. The big J getting away from Tan. He sees our nice open. The well, last lot of statistical points for uh, for Sonny Jaworski there. He initiated the steal and gave off a good assist pass, you know. It's different when Sonny Jaworski runs that pass break together with Francis. Tremendous performance. Enching Rodriguez asking for a timeout. We'll be right back. A very touching streamer. Viva Jaworski, welcome back, Mr. PBA. Incidentally, don't forget that uh, Turo Valenzona and his gin makers fight for outright qualification to the round of four in this all-Filipino conference on Thursday, April 7th, when they clash with the idol Chris Redmanizers. And don't miss that all-important match, which we will bring to you live at 7.30 p.m. to be followed by the encounter between Great Face and the artistas of Gallery Dominic at 9.30 p.m. And if he's feeling better, 
Smoking Joe Cantada and Andy Howe will be reporting that to you. That's true. Both of those games are actually uh, very important games, even for the Great Taste Discoverers if they want to get into this uh, semi final round. They have to win that ball game also. As Rodless goes up, Banate hits his arm, and that is uh, Banate's fifth personal foul, probably. No, no N foul call there. Just simply a tap out. 21 seconds left on the shot clock for Toyota. A minute and 13 to go in the game clock, and we have Toyota and team foul trouble. Mon Fernandez, this time fouled by Arce. It was, he was trying to attempt a... Let's double check the guilty party. That's right, it was called against Arce. You can see there Ramon Fernandez fake off a pass to Plotless. Hundred seventeen, hundred two, and we find Mon Fernandez getting his twenty-second point. The biggest lead, sixteen points. Alex Tan driving in, checked by Abe King. Two on one break. The road runner to the big J without looking back to a nice. Oh, what a play! This is too much! <laughs> and those three guys are really having a good time, Ramon Fernandez. Oh, they're having a ball, and so is the fans. The fans here are just having a great evening. And this pulls it down. Doing the jig and a fake pass. Our nice back against Ramon oh. Fernandez, and that time, three seconds gone yes. against them. Oh, this is too much. Too much passing in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Only 31 seconds left in the ball game, and uh, the uh, Silver Coronas have chalked up their fourth win against two losses, and they have gained at least a tie for the semifinals. Oh, Levy Casillo must be enjoying this. 120 for Toyota, 102 Manhattan, 18, 17 seconds to go. The Roadrunner hit twice from Rainbow Territory, especially during the height of the rally of Manhattan. The Big J going for it, and he finally gets his first three points. You know, Pingo, the fans were really asking him for a three-point shot, and he just delivered it for them, you know. And Jaworski, good for 13 points. And there goes the horn. What a tremendous return. The comebacking of uh, the Big J gives a peace sign to his fans. So at the end of the game, we find 102 for Manhattan, and... 123 for Toyota Silver Coronas, winning by 21 points. Great show. It's showtime. And the fans of Toyota certainly had a ball. Before Andy Howe reports to you on the individual scoring, we turn you back to our studios for a special message.